Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Saturday, September 28th, 2024. It's week five college football and five college football plays coming your way for the Saturday slate. No waiting around either. 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific kick for our first one up. Let me know in the comments below what your picks are for today, for this weekend. All is welcome. I'll be in there chiming in as well with you guys, reading them, replying to you as, uh, hey, Interested in, in what you got, your picks, uh, where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, going in order at kickoff, a big one in the Big Easy and the AAC, likely to go a long way to uh, who wins this conference. It's USF and Tulane, both teams coming off of in-state battles last week, and we are seeing 62 and a half as the total Minus five, that's the green wave as the home favorite. So, um, hey, getting after this one, both teams two and two on the season, both kind of trying to punch up in class against power four conference teams and losing those games. However, you know, playing decently in them. I actually think both of these two teams could be good bets going forward. One of them I'm a little bit more confident in than the other, and that's what we're getting after here starting early on Saturday. USF side of things. Alex Golsch, their, their head coach, he's a guy I'm I'm a big fan of. Uh, you look at his pedigree and how he's got this team playing. I like this USF Bulls team. They played Alabama close. They played Miami close for, for really the first half, then had trouble scoring in the second half. Their quarterback, um, Brown, Byron Brown, he did take every snap in practice in Tuesday with the, with the starters. He, he was banged up in the Miami game. He's the guy I like to bet on. He's already got over 280 rush yards for the season. He's a former like track guy, you know, in high school, running around. He's very fast. He was also a finalist for Mr. Football in North Carolina in high school. He doesn't have any interceptions. He makes plays with his feet. Um, again, a guy that I'm looking to be betting on here. He's played well, punching up in class against both Alabama and Miami last week. Now, they're up against Tulane here. You know, this is a Tulane team that's coming off of the ULL game uh, against Lafayette last week, a close one, which they did win, but they got two non-offensive touchdowns to help them in that close close win. Look, they're at home. This is a bit of a tough spot, maybe for both teams, maybe a little bit more for USF. I just think they got more talent, guys. This is not the Tulane team with Willie Fritz at the helm. You know, he's gone to Houston here, asking them to lay five. I think it's a tight one. But I think the side here is USF. I think this USF team won to bet on early in the season here. Plus five, it's the Bulls of USF against Tulane to start us off. we got 330 kicks for the next few here. Let's talk another big one. Neutral site game here. Arkansas and Texas A&M. SEC battle, 51 and a half being the total. Minus five in the hook, minus six. 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific kick here. USF Tulane on ESPNU to kick us off. This one, ABC or ESPN, 3-1 and one for both teams, both 1-0 and oh in the conference. Arkansas beating Auburn, Texas A&M beating Florida. Arkansas last week, their quarterbacks just went 12 of 28, passing 151 yards, two interceptions. I watch almost every game or every play of that game. Actually, it, it was one of the losses last week, which by the way, over the last two weeks on Saturday, guys, I didn't do the recap at the top, uh, plus units the last two Saturdays, plus granted 0.7 units, but still getting this thing rolling on Saturdays in college football. And I'm doing this on Friday, going into the overnights, four and one on Thursday, plus four units. So we're getting it headed in the right direction here, guys. Profitable uh, shows. Hopefully another profitable one here on Saturday. Talking about Arkansas, Texas A&M, guys. Arkansas last week, again, their quarterbacks under 50% passing, 151 yards, two INTs. And Texas A&M, just 176 yards passing last week against Bowling Green. I think they're going to really struggle against this Texas or against this Arkansas defense. Arkansas, for me, is just really all defense. Same might be said for Texas A&M here. Their quarterback now, Marcel Reed, retro freshman, has got six games in college, just a 56% completion percentage. He's averaging just 105 yards per game. I don't think either offense moves it very much. I'm surprised to see this total in the 50s, 51 and a hook. Hey, I'd go under here, guys. We're going under Arkansas and Texas A&M for the second game up. 
Also 3.30 Eastern, we're heading to South Bend, Indiana. Notre Dame hosting Louisville, 46 being the total. The Irish minus six in the hook. Louisville comes in 3-0, and Notre Dame 3-1. and A lot of people thinking Notre Dame, you know, remembering they lost to Northern Illinois, but they've come back and won 66-7 to over Purdue. They also held Miami of Ohio last week to just three points. By the way, this Miami of Ohio team, they played Cincinnati and Northwestern within 11 points, so that team might not be too bad in the MAC conference, and Notre Dame held them out of the end zone. Louisville, yes, 3-0, and but... I think it's kind of fraudulent, guys. I really do. They're 3-0 straight up, 3-0 against the spread, and they've outscored their opponents 142 to just 33. So they've absolutely dominated. But they've only played one Power 4 conference team, and that was Georgia Tech last week. And that was a very fortunate win in cover. They actually got a fumble return for a touchdown, a blocked field goal return for a touchdown. So even winning that game was in question, and they covered the double digits. I don't think you can bet on that multiple weeks in a row. I think this Notre Dame team is kind of a buy low off of that Northern Illinois loss a couple weeks ago, and I think that they start to cash some tickets here. I think this number is very telling. Notre Dame almost a seven-point favorite, minus six and a half. We're on the Irish over Louisville. Going a little off the radar for the next one, 3.30 Eastern, heading to Miami of Ohio. Just talked about them. They're hosting UMass, 45 being the total. Miami O, minus 16 to as high as minus 17 point home favorites. So a team laying 17 and they're 0-3. Think about that. First three weeks of the season, they're 0-3. And now they're laying 17 points in week four. I don't know what the numbers are on that. I'd love to find out, but I have a feeling that is a profitable angle. The market is telling us something here in this week four game. This is a Miami of Ohio team that played, what, Notre Dame, Northwestern, and Cincinnati already in their first three games. Now they're taking a huge step down in class. This was the number one defense in the MAC conference last year, the most experienced offensive line in the conference. Their head coach, Chuck Martin, he's been coaching them up. They were the MAC champions last year. They're on 11 and 2 against the spread run towards the end of last year, if you remember. They were one of the best money making teams in college football. They're 0 and 3 out the gate. This screams the bet on Miami O in this situation. They're up against UMass, yes, 1 and 3 on the season, but they're 0 and 3 already in the MAC. They've played three, uh, three MAC teams, lost them all. This is also their third road game of the month of September. And last week, yes, it was their first win, but it was against Central Connecticut State, whoever that is. And they were losing in the fourth quarter. Plus, they were plus two turnovers in that game to help them out in the win. I think Miami of Ohio, I think this number is telling, guys, we can get it as low as minus 16 here. Hey, we're on Miami O over UMass. Got another one for you, 330 Eastern kick. TCU and Kansas coming your way. But a reminder, guys, if you're interested in premium picks, check them out. Wagertalk.com, Drew Martin, experts page, 5% max limit going on Sunday in the NFL. Number one ranked NFL totals handicapper the last year, the last four years, uh, over 60%. So uh, these NFL totals have been great and got the highest rated play going on Sunday. College football has been good good as well. So uh uh, good weekend to jump on board, and we got the the 30 days free if you buy three months. So if you're interested in extended packages, that might be a good one for you. So check out Premium Picks, wagertalk.com. And again, reminder, if you can comment below, smash the like button, looking to grow the show here, particularly on the weekends. All right, 330 kick for the last one, guys. TCU and Kansas, Big 12 conference matchup, 59 being the total. Kansas, the Jayhawks, minus two point quote-unquote, home favorites. They are playing in Arrowhead, the home of the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas is redoing their uh, their their home stadium there. So either way, I think it's a pretty big-time matchup, cool for both programs. TCU, if you didn't catch that game last week, I was on the wrong side of it against SMU. But Sonny Dykes was thrown out of the game, their head coach. I, I haven't seen that very often at all. I can't even remember another time that a head coach in college football got thrown out of the game. But it happened last week in the iron skillet. And to speak to what happened, like watching that game, now granted, I guess you could say I'm biased with a TCU uh, ticket in my pocket. Those refs were all over the place. And they had five turnovers against SMU. SMU had four non-conference 
offensive touchdowns. Think about that, 28 points where their offense wasn't even on the field. It was just a wild game. So if you're kind of going after the box score, I wouldn't take too much off of that. I actually think TCU might be a little bit underrated in this one. And they're now going up against Kansas, which I don't think this is the same Kansas team as last year, particularly on offense. Their quarterback, Jalen Daniels, has not been the same player under the new offensive scheme under OC Jeff Grimes. Uh, they've been struggling offensively. So I think TCU's the side here, a little buy low on the Horned Frogs. We get them plus two. I like them on the money line as well, guys. A little wrong team favored here. We're going to end it with TCU plus two over Kansas in Arrowhead. In recap, we got Miami of Ohio laying the, the, the 16 here, guys, with the 0-3 team. We get Notre Dame minus six in the hook over Louisville. And Arkansas, Texas A&M under 51 and a half. And then we talked about that first game up. USF. We'll go USF, best bet for the show, plus five in the Big Easy. Drew Martin, check it out for the Saturday Drew Daily Diamonds. We got uh, Sunday's action coming, the first NFL show. You guys asked for it in the comments. Hey, trying to get it to you guys. So uh, check that one out going on Sunday. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button, comment below, cash those tickets.